you guys sit in the back. Okay, we'll have an opening statement from Coach, then we'll go to questions. Um, uh, first of all, I want to thank our fans. Uh, they were incredible tonight. Um, they, they brought energy. They gave us a chance. Um, apologize that I didn't have our guys ready to play. This is not on them. This is on me. And uh, we will do a better job. Let's go first, question-wise. Jerome, third, start, third game in a row, offense just comes out real cold. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. I have to go back and look at film and uh, see if there's something there. I actually was, I mean, even though we hadn't scored, it was 9 nothing or 7 nothing, whatever, into media. Thought we were playing with good energy and we got good looks and we didn't turn the ball over. So, I mean, that was the positive. And like, normally in the first media, we usually have three turnovers. You know, we're talking about, God, I get shot up, but we were actually getting shots up. So I really wasn't as concerned, um, but I will go back and look at, at all three games and figure out if there's something that we need to do differently. Cam, what do you think you guys can do to get the offense clicking in a little bit higher rate? Uh, we, could just, uh, we need to just keep the ball moving. Uh, sometimes we get a little stagnant on offense and you know, uh, it causes you know, players to go one-on-one -on -one sometimes. You guys cut it to seven there at the end, and then they go on that that, that six nothing run. What, what, what kind of what did they do to kind of kick it up a gear, to kind of pull away from you there late? Um, I have to go back and look at, it, but I think there was a turnover, a live ball turnover, um, and there was an offensive rebound, and um, you know they scored 19 points off of our 14 turnovers. And most of a lot of them were live ball. You know, it's hard to defend that. And um, and then, uh, you know, their offensive rebounds were loud. They didn't have like there was 12 to eight on the offensive glass as far as points, uh, but it just seemed louder during the game. Um, so, but but I have to go back and look at that. David, when when everyone's kind of struggling to score, and you see Tyler really kind of battling out there for you guys, and kind of kind of keeping keeping the boat afloat, what, what goes through your mind? I mean, just follow his lead. I mean, you're our leader. Kind of just putting the team on our back. Uh, everybody else just got to join the ride and follow him. Coach, just 10 minutes from Will McNair tonight. Was that something schematically that you had? Um, no, I, I just didn't think Will was locked in, um, you know, yeah, Will, Will, Will wasn't with us tonight, so, but I, it's not Will's fault, that's, that's my fault, right, I, I didn't have these dudes ready, right, uh, um, this one, and I, I mean, I'm not going to go into details, but this one falls on me, right, but it, it won't happen again. Coach, you guys missed 37 shots tonight, only shot 30%. How much of the lack of scoring is either bad shots or just not making shots? Some of it is not making shots, but um, some of it is like we could like move it one more, right? Like, because uh, I know I've said this all year long, we, we're we really good catch and shoot team. Um, and we consistently do it at a high level in practice, right? And, um, and so it's about recreating those shots for each other, you know, because in this league, everybody knows what you're going to run. And, like, you might put in something that catches them off guard here or there, but for the most part, you're going to run, you know, certain things, and, and they all have a way to defend it. And then players have to make plays and make plays for each other. And uh, we're not getting enough of that. And so we, we, as a staff, probably have to do a better job of, of helping them in that area. Are you surprised by the way this game played out, given that you've lost two straight and kind of feels like things are getting away from you now that you're 4-4 four and four after being 4-1? and one? Uh, OK, well, first of all, things are not getting away from us, right? We're 4-4 four and four in the best league in America. 
right? And I've said from the very beginning of the year, like when this whole thing, like you get nine wins in this league, you go into the NCAA tournament. Okay, so uh, nothing has changed for us, right? It's just the order in which things happen. Sometimes people make a bigger deal out of it than needs to be. Okay, and so 11 teams in our league lost back-to-back -back games uh, that, that were played on the road, six of them that were consecutive on the road. So that, I mean, it happens. Okay, and um, it's, it's usually hard to beat teams on their home court, and our fans did a great job of giving us a chance. And this might have been just a second game at home where, like, we just didn't deliver offensively, you know. And, and, and give OU credit for that, right? Because, I mean, they've lost three really close games where they had the lead, and then end up giving it up on their home court, all right? And so, I mean, they had a greater sense of urgency in, on the defensive end um, for, for their attack of us. And we didn't, I didn't have our guys as prepared for um, what they face. They, and part of that is they have to make shots, but part of that is I have to do a better job. Tyler had a good night scoring the basketball. How much of that is replicable moving forward and maybe getting you know, consecutive strong performances from him scoring? You know, you, you, you hope that um, guys can uh, develop consistency, right? And, um, you know, we have three guys who can score the ball on our team at a, at a pretty good level, Cam, Art, and Tyler. And if they all play well on the same night, we're hard to beat. If we can get two of the three of them, to play well on the same night, we got a chance to, to win. And we got other guys who do a lot of really good things that help them, you know. And uh, um, so that, that, that's the thing. It's about, you know, understanding um, and, and then being able to be consistent with it. I, I was very pleased that he was aggressive tonight because he hadn't been aggressive. And so now we can coach some of that stuff. David, you guys have won just about all of your home games the last two years. Then the night you lose one by 20. Just what was your reaction at the end of the game when you look around and you know don't see everybody cheering for you there at the end? Um, next right thing, got to get the next one. Uh, focus on Oklahoma State. Cam, are you like you like your coach? Still feeling confident about where this team can go? Yeah, 100. Uh, percent We got some hard workers, and we gonna bounce back. Now that you're this many games in the league, have you seen? Are you seeing maybe any common denominators as far as how have teams changed the way they're defending you, or is it just, I mean, good scouting, or is, no, it, a, uh, is it a you problem? Uh, a, a common denominator: they're, they're putting two on the ball whenever TP has it, and then um, we have to be able to make plays out of that. Um, and then we are putting people at the free throw line too much. Um, did, did a a little better job on the glass today, even though those offensive rebounds, like I said, they seemed real loud. Um, uh, but like, if we can control the glass better and then um, keep guys off the line, guard without fouling, um, that, that's going to help us. You called a timeout with, with 28 seconds to play. Was there, was there a message that you wanted to send? there just to close the game out or, or what What was kind of the thought? Yeah, no, I wanted our guys to know that like I, I'm that was on me. This this loss tonight was on me, right? I didn't want them to hang their heads. I didn't want them to uh, to like because sometimes things can go from your head to your heart. I didn't want this loss to go to their heart, right? This is this was on me and uh, I, I can't go into details on it, but I'm just telling you that this one was on me and I'm, I'm I will correct it and, and do better. Thanks a lot. Go Cats.